October marks Domestic Violence Awareness Month. Now, the first National Domestic Violence Awareness Month was recognized more than 30 years ago. Communities across the nation organize events and activities to celebrate survivors of abuse, mourn lives lost to domestic violence, and connect people committed to ending the violence. Carissa Phillips is the External Relations Director for Greenhouse 17. This, this nonprofit organization serves 17 counties across central Kentucky. Thanks, Carissa, so much for coming in today. No, thanks for having us out. We're we're, we're excited to talk more about the month. Yes, thank you. And uh, so talk a little bit about what Greenhouse 17 provides. Yeah, we are a nonprofit organization that serves victims and survivors and their dependents um, of intimate partner abuse in 17 central Kentucky counties. That includes Fayette and the surrounding counties in the Bluegrass Area Development District. And we do that in a host of ways. We have a 24-hour crisis hotline that's answered every single day of the year by a certified domestic violence advocate. Um, we have a 42-bed emergency shelter that's located in rural Fayette County. We have advocates in every community that we serve that's available to go to court with survivors and to provide support groups and individual support as needed to begin to heal and stabilize lives after surviving abuse. And why is Domestic Violence Awareness Month so important? Yeah, you know, one in three people in our community will be the victim of domestic violence in their lifetime. And so our mission is something that I think connects all of us. Either we are survivors, we know someone who is being abused or is a survivor, or we grew up maybe witnessing mm -hmm. um, domestic violence in the home. So I think it's important that we talk about our mission because so often it's something that's kept quiet um, and I think it's also important to remind folks that it's not just physical violence it's verbal abuse it's emotional abuse it's financial abuse as well mm -hmm. and why is this so important to you I can tell that you're very passionate about it oh well, I've been committed to this work for a really long time mm -hmm. and I think I think you'll find a lot of people who our advocates in our mission have had some sort of experience themselves or with someone they really care about um, and they want the violence to end and we think our whole community does really yeah yeah um, talk a little bit about October you, you yeah. all are putting on a few different events for folks yeah. to, to be a part of yeah yeah we're hosting a few the community has come together mm -hmm. and said we want to do um, awareness events and help raise some funding for your services so we have a really full calendar of community happenings and events all through October um, we have um, an exercise charity ride that's happening on the 14th. We have a soul fitness event um, later in the month. But the two that I'm, I'm really excited about are Purple Thursday and Rock Relief. Okay. Purple Thursday is super easy for people to participate in and I think it's really powerful. It's a national day of putting on purple. It can be t-shirts like the one I have on here. Mm -hmm. um, it can be fingernail polish. It can be shoes or socks. Mm -hmm. And when you do that, you are identifying yourself as an advocate for survivors. and. Um, you know, just making posts on social media saying, I'm wearing purple today, and it's because I want to call for an end to domestic violence. And here's some resources if you're being harmed or you know someone who's mm -hmm. being abused. And that can go really far in letting survivors who have often been isolated and told no one will care mm -hmm. to see the community saying, I care and I want to support you. Uh, how can our viewers learn more? Yeah, our website at greenhouse17.org has uh -huh. all the information you'll need. Also, um, our 24-hour crisis hotline is answered every day of the year if you or someone you know is being harmed. And you can find resources about services and support in the community from our website as well. All right, thank you so much yeah. for coming in. Stay